Yo, it's time to open up the P.O. Box mail from December. This is very late, but, uh, had a lot of shit going on. So, uh, finally, let's sit down. Let's open up. There's a lot of stuff here. Let's take a look at what you guys sent in. Here's a postcard from Brian and Lawrence from New, uh, New Vegas. Uh, Las Vegas. Uh, and it's... Look at that. Look at that crazy Christmas card. Uh, looks like their dog is barking lightning bolts at them and uh, they're fighting the dog. This is great, you two. Uh, thank you very much for this. This rules. Here's a letter from Mikhail from Alaska. Happy Thanksgiving, Sunlight. <laughs> I appreciate it. It is, wow, some of these are, we're really old, huh? I uh, appreciate it. I did have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you very much, Mikhail. Here's a letter from Kyungmin from Georgia. Happy holidays, very cute penguin card. Happy holidays, Sung One and Amory. Thank you both for being unapologetically yourselves. It's always nice to see another Korean American in media. Yeah. But you are by far the most wholesome and kind. Please keep being yourselves, Kangmin. Thank you very much, Kangmin. Yo, Koreans. Yeah. All right, here is a letter from somebody. It's a bunch of cool stickers. I don't know who sent this. I don't think there's a return address on here. But we got some cool cat stickers, very shiny. Thank you very much. If you sent these, let me know so I can thank you. All right, here's a letter from Amy from Maryland. Sweet wishes, another Christmas card. Wishing you a great Christmas and an amazing 2020. Amy, thank you very much, Amy. Uh, yeah, my Christmas was very solid and uh, hoping this year will be a good one. So thank you very much. I assume a lot of these will be Christmas cards, um, which I still appreciate even though it is not Christmas anymore. Uh, here's a letter from, uh, Stephanie from Wisconsin. Aw, it's the little kid in mailbox. Uh, oh, this is addressed to Alex as well, so this is for Press Buttons and Talk. Uh, that's our Let's Play channel. Check that out in the description below. Uh, Alex, Sung One, Anne-Marie, Effie, and Sophie. I wanted to wish you all the happiest of holidays. After all, PB&T has truly made the past couple of years of my life happier. You are so funny and entertaining, I'll rewatch certain playthroughs multiple times if I'm bored and feel like there's nothing good to watch. Uh, your Ace Attorney plays have gotten me back into the games, and I especially appreciate your Homestar Runner references. I was watching Walking Dead with my brother around Halloween. At one point, Clem says, I can do it, and I immediately said, I can do it nine times, but realized I spoke over a joke. We rerouted only to discover you made the same joke. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength. Um, I look forward to new episodes every day, and I hope someday to find a find and s find and I think find and send you at least one stupid game from my childhood. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Steph. Thank you very much, Steph. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll we'll be reading this on the channel as well on Press Buns and Talk. Uh, but thank you very much. Here's a letter from Swan from Texas. Another Christmas card. Very pretty. Merry Christmas, Sung One. Hope you're having a fantastic holiday. Any traditions you'd like to do, let me know. I also hope you get some awesome gifts. Here are two Yu-Gi-Oh cards of mine. Ooh, we got uh, Mech Lord Emperor Weasel and Mech Lord Emperor Granol. Awesome. Uh, God bless, Swan. P.S. Watch Beastars. It's so good. Thank you very much, Swan. I have heard Beastars is good. It looks good. Uh, and yeah, the holiday was great. Uh, traditions for us, uh, this is just, uh, you know, gift given of the usual stuff. Uh, you know, nothing too exciting, but it's always really fun. Uh, but thank you for the cards, and thank you for the card. The card and the cards. Here's a letter from Tiffany from California. Have you played the mo mobile game Fate Grand Order? I played a little bit of it. I couldn't really get into it, but I enjoyed a little bit of what I played. If you had to choose a favorite snack food in 2017, what would it be? In 2017, I have no idea, but, uh... I always like cheddar and sour cream ruffles. That's my go-to snack. Take care from Tiffany. Thank you very much, Tiffany. All right, here's a letter from somebody. Looks like from Connecticut. Prozy D, happy Christmas, New Year, and decade. I remember when I sent a letter to you to get some shout-outs, and I love the fact and got excited over the fact that you read it. I got 18 subs minus the two of my friends, so 16 subs from your video, so thank you. I now have 24 subs and a Twitter account. On the Twitter account, I post random ideas about my head. Sincerely, Ghost Vulpix. P.S. My Twitter is at Ghost, Ghost Vulpix, all lowercase. Thank you, Gol uh, Ghost Vulpix. Uh, and they gave me a Target gift card. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, here's a little package. Hi, Sung One and Alex, Anne Marie, Effie, and Sophie. I'm really enjoying your playthrough of Ace Attorney Investigations. I watch PB&T almost every day, in fact, and I always lo I look forward to your new episodes. I thought I'd send you one of my favorite games, Radiant Historia, ooh, uh, for you to enjoy and maybe play on the show sometime. Happy holidays and best wishes for the new year. From Jay. Thank you very much, Jay. Ooh, 
Radiant Historia. I played a little bit of this a long time ago, but I never beat it. Uh, cool, we'll have to check it out on the channel sometime. Thank you so much. Here's a package from, looks like Jez from, ooh, it looks like Guam. Okay, half a day. I don't have actual paper at my disposal, so here's a letter on some random ass paper I found. Love your videos, love your work. My all-time favorite would have to be my, the Wotakoi in 60 Seconds review you did. Not only because it was one of my favorite animes of the year, but also because I felt everything you said in that video. Super jealous when I found out my cousin met you at a convention at one point. Not sure which one, probably Crunchyroll. Random statement, but I just felt the need to mention it. Uh, anywho, hope you enjoy the random swag I sent. I drew and printed the stickers myself and designed the Nezuko pin. Ooh, let's take a look at these. We got some cool unknown stickers. That's pretty neat. Uh, we got a, a, a goose from the goose game. A dark magician girl. We got that scary long meowth. Ponyta. Uh, no face. And a whole bunch of other... Uh, Oh, are these? Aha! Uh -huh, they spell P-R-O-Z. Awesome. Also, a foot. And look at that, a little Nezuko pin. I haven't seen Demon Slayer yet, but I recognize this character. It's very cute. I made too much for a convention, so now I have a bunch of leftovers. Enjoy your day. Hope you enjoyed the holidays if it doesn't arrive in time. It did. It just uh, took a while to get, uh, for me to open these up. Looking forward to that good 2020 content. Uh, find me via Tumblr. Schmozy, S H M O Z I E. Thank you very much, Schmozy. These stickers and um, the pin are super cool. And I'm glad you enjoy my videos, so thank you so much. All right, here's a package from Amazon. Hi, PBT crew. Hope you love this Sinner Sandwich from Robert Williamson. And that's Deadly Premonition Origins, which I'm fascinated to try this because I've heard so much about this game. This will be a wild ride on, this, on the channel, so. Thank you so much, I'm looking forward to trying this out. All right, here's a package from Will from Florida. Hi pb &T. first let me say thank you for all the videos and the countless hours of entertainment that come with them. I sent you all a few games that I thought you might enjoy and fit with some of the types of games you guys enjoy already or like to play on the channel. Since you guys like Mario Party and party games, I sent Pooh's Party Game. Uh, in Search of the Treasure, ooh, interesting. Okay, um, and since you guys like Smash, here's Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion XL, which I've heard of, I think. And since you guys, uh, and lastly, because you guys like Phoenix Wright and visual novel games, I sent Trauma Center New Blood, which I've never played this one. I've only played the ones on the DS. Mostly because the box says you can do the surgeries co-op. Anyway, thanks again, and I hope you enjoy. From Will. Thank you very much, Will. Dang. I am very excited to try these out. This one looks very interesting, and I have never heard of this, and this looks fascinating. Uh, not to say I'm not interested in this too, but these I've like, wow, I'm, I just, I'm, I can't even imagine what these games are like. So thank you very much, Will. T-Blocks from California. Uh, a Kylo Ren toothbrush. Uh, we've got a Widowmaker sticker. Overwatch Halloween, okay, I was like, I don't know what this is, but it's an Overwatch shirt. Cool. And then just a straight up Super Smash Bros. Ultimate poster. Uh, thank you to whoever sent this. Uh, dang. Thank you so much. Here's a package from Michael from Kansas. Hi, Sung Won. It's me again, Amiibo Doctor, and I've got another Amiibo. I was thinking right around finals what the best meme of the decade was. The two 2010s were a form formationary decade for me as they took me from middle school to college. I got regular and internet, ac internet access about halfway through and with it some rather juicy memes. As the culture of the internet shaped and formed, I watched it do so with great interest. And now here we are a few days from the end of the year waiting for America's balls to drop. It struck me, how would I be able to rank what the best meme of the last 10 years was? There were so many, and they got more complex as our abilities to meme grew. I simply didn't know the way. I did not know the way, you do not know the way. And then I had my answer. Uganda Knuckles is the best meme of the decade. I don't know what that is. I know of it. It's been two years and I'm still wishing that meme had lasted longer. It may be the only meme that I never ever got bored of and now it's yours. It's uh, Uganda Knuckles. Wow, okay. Uh, this Uganda Knuckles amiibo scans in as a Sonic amiibo. Sonic's mostly unexplored in the competitive amiibo dojo meta, so unfortunately I can't tell you how good he is, if you ever do amiibo versus amiibo tournaments. Regardless, you now have the best meme of the decade in your hands. Treasure him always, my queen. My queen. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Hmm. Amiibo Doctor. Thank you very much, Amiibo Doctor. I don't know the meme, but this is cool. And thank you for sending it in. Here's a package from David from Virginia. Dear Pro CD, my wife and Nakama, Oh, and I are huge fans of your work. In addition to loving your sketches, we are both giant fucking weeaboos. 
We have thoroughly enjoyed your recommendations, including Nozaki-kun, Silver Spoon, and of course, uh, Chihaya Furu. We were recently in Kyoto in the Manga Museum. There had a special uh, exhibit by Yuki Suetsugu. Since you are a very important person to me, I wanted to get you something from the gift shop. My machinations did not lay undetected, and no helped me pick up this print. Ore! <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. D plus O. Thank you, D and O. Let's see what print it is. Oh, shit! Whoa! What? That is sick! What? What? Wow. Okay, this is from Chihaya Furu, my favorite anime. Uh, wow. This is beautiful. Thank you, you two. You clearly knew exactly what I uh, would have wanted. And I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Wow, this is gorgeous. All right, here's a package from South Dakota. Looks like there's no name on it. Sung Wan, I hope you're doing well and happy late holidays. I'm sending these books to you because I love your videos and I wanted you to have them. I know that books aren't usually the sort of things you receive, but they are a, a nice blend of young adult sci-fi and fantasy, and I think you would enjoy them. These are the first books, three books that I've published. All right, let's take a look. We got Academy Bloodstone. Alphas Book 1 uh, by Henry G. Tagar, Colony Darkstone, that's Alphas Book 2, and Emerald Firestone, Alphas Book 3. And they are at Tagar G, T-A-Y-G-A-R-G. -G. You are so funny and down to earth, and I uh, hope your sense of humor never fades. P.S. Tell Effie and Sylvie they're the best cats. Sincerely, Henry. Thank you very much, Henry. Dang, getting published, that's no small feat. Uh, so that's pretty sick. Thank you for sending in the books, I'm honored. And yeah, I'll have to check these out. Uh, but I really appreciate it, and thank you so much. All right, here's a package from Matt from, looks like, Ontario. It doesn't look like there's a letter, but uh, looks like Matt sent some nerdy crosswords that he made. Ooh, newly th or nerdy themed American style crossword puzzles designed for geeks, techies, gamers, and otakus alike. Uh, let's see, these are uh, at nerdy crosswords. So if you're interested in checking these out, uh, they're on there. This seems up my alley, actually. Uh, looks like it's a crossword I could actually do. Thank you very much, Matt. All right, here's a package from Victoria, uh, from Washington. Uh, the note says, sorry, not a new dress, just another board game from Joseph. And this is a board game, Fantastic Factories. I've heard of this, actually. Did you, Are you the Joseph who designed this? Uh, yeah, like your card's in here, so yes. At Fan Factories is their Twitter. Uh, and we've got also some Fantastic Factories pins. Dang, awesome, I'll have to check this out. Um, uh, cool, thank you so much for sending this in. I, I forget where I heard about this, but I know people have been talking about this and it's supposed to be really good, so thank you. All right, here's a package, uh, also from Victoria, from Washington. I wonder if it's also from Joseph, let's find out. Warm and fuzzy, happy holiday wishes. Dear Prosody and Anne-Marie, it was great meeting you at the Drawfee event in New York City a few years ago. Oh yeah, that's right. You put on a great show. We've been a big fan of your content since the Vine days. God, I miss Vine. We especially love press buttons and talk and your board game reviews. Seeing your board game uh, content inspired us to make Gladius, a game about betting on and rigging the gladiatorial games. Ooh, awesome. That's very nice. Featuring art from Cheryl Young. Thanks again for bringing joy and laughs to our lives. Alex and Victoria at Cat Quartet Games, and that's at Gladius, G-L-A-D-I-U-S card game. Okay, so was it you who sent me Fantastic Factories? Because that was also addressed from you. I don't know who it was from, but anyway, thank you for this. I'll have to check this out. Congratulations on your Kickstarter. Uh, yeah. At Gladius Card Game, if, if you guys are interested in checking that out. Here's a package from Kirk from Tennessee. Uh, it's the Jolly Postman's Party. Uh, I assume this is for press buttons and talk, but it's a CD-ROM. We don't actually do PC games, but this is very charming looking. Uh, I appreciate it anyway. Thank you for sending it in. Uh, this is from Jim from New Zealand. Whoa, what is this? This is L&P, Lemon and Piroa, good lemony stuff. Huh, I've never heard of this. I guess this is a soda or... Yeah, it's like a soft drink. Huh. Curious to try this out. That looks interesting. Oh, this is- this box is filled with a bunch of these. And then in the other box... Ooh. Whoa! Burger rings! I've heard of these! Oh, shit! Full on- I'm very excited to try these. We've got... Mallow Puffs. I don't know what these are. Double chocolate. Looks like they're just big old marshmallows. 
Uh, yeah, two different Mallow Puffs. Whoa, all right. It says it's from a specific dairy or something, or a store. So I don't know if you're the person, if Jim, if it's you, or if it's whoever you are, uh, let me know in the comments. You clearly know I'm very interested in trying different sodas and snacks and stuff. So thank you very much. I'm excited to try them. They look really good. Finally, this is from Susan from Oregon, and it's uh, addressed to press buttons and talk. Dear Alex, Sungwon, and Anne Marie, I found your channel when I was having a bit of a rough time, and your videos helped me have something to look forward to every day. I've especially enjoyed the Ace Attorney playthroughs, though I've also loved the rest. I even love listening to you get frustrated with horrible game mechanics. Speaking of horrible mechanics, I wanted to thank you by sending you some of, some of my favorite Saturn games and a Saturn to play them on. They sent in a Sega Saturn. What? Whoa. Okay. I've never played a Sega Saturn, but this is amazing. Whoa. There it is. Shit. And they also sent Nights into Dreams. Uh, Fighting Vipers, I don't know what that is, uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga, and our favorite, Sonic 3D Blast. Whoa, okay. I really hope you can check some of them out on the channel. Thanks for all the laughs. Best wishes, RSTGD. Whoa, thank you, RSTGD. Uh, that's A-R-I-S, uh, T-G-D. Uh, wow, a whole console. That's very generous of you. Um, I will have to... Uh, see if Alex can set this up or something, but if he can, then it looks like we can play Sega Saturn games on the channel, which is wild. That's not something I think either of us was anticipating. Uh, so thank you. This is crazy. Very generous again, and yeah, awesome. And uh, yeah, all, all the press buttons and talk stuff will be opening up in a separate video on the channel as well, so you can see Alex's reactions too. All right, I believe that was everything. Wow. Uh... This really boosts up my spirits a bit. Uh, I have been having kind of a tough time lately, um, but I, I'm starting to try to get back in the swing of things. And you know, all this kindness really does mean a lot to me. Christmas wishes, even though Christmas has passed, it feels like it's Christmas again right now. So yeah, thank you to all of you for your very kind letters, gifts, everything. Super, super uh, appreciative for all of that. Uh, and yeah, I'll try to get the next one uh, a little more on time. But until then, I'll see you in the next one, and thank you again to everybody. Yeah.